Good morning, Mount Olive. Hope you're doing a wonderful, having a wonderful morning. Uh, let's go before the Lord in prayer before we start our devotion this morning. Lord, everyone, thank you, Lord, for all that you do for us. Lord, your many blessings. Lord, there are so many times, Father, that uh, we come to you with so many requests. Lord, we ask, Lord, for our protection for our mission team. Lord, we ask, Lord, that you'll watch over them. Lord, that you'll give them your spirit and your peace and your guidance, Father, for what they'll be doing today. Lord, that they will reach souls, Father, for you. Lord, that they will show your love, be the hands and feet of, of your body. Lord, that you'll continue to give them protection, watch over their families. Lord, be with all those that are sick and, and need your help, Father, need your peace. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay, and this week we are following up on, uh, on Brother Jay's uh, lesson, um, uh, talking about standing in the gap. And what a wonderful message uh, that Jason shared. It was a wonderful time um, uh, that he was able to give us what the Lord had laid on his heart. And it's a, it's a wonderful message. Um, there's uh, several verses that I'd like to bring your attention to this morning and kind of expand just a little bit on what Brother Jason had, had discussed. Um, uh, so we'll take a look and see how um, uh, the scripture kind of relates to, to standing in the gap. Um, Brother Jason uh, put in Ezekiel uh, chapter 22, and uh, this is uh, God speaking uh, to Ezekiel uh, as a, a lesson or a message to the people of Israel. In verse 29, he says, uh, the people of the land have used oppression and exercised robbery and have vexed the poor and needy. Yea, they've oppressed the stranger wrongfully. And I sought for a man among them that should make up the hedge and stand in the gap before me for the land, that I should not destroy it, but I found none. The land had become uh, evil, it had become uh, ungodly. Um, people have blurred the lines between good and evil. Uh, those that needed to stand up for good did not. Um, it's starting to sound a whole lot uh, familiar to another country. Um, but in this, the Lord is giving them uh, an ultimatum. In verse 31, he says, And therefore have I poured out my indignation, his wrath, upon them. I have consumed them with the fire of my wrath. Their own way have I recompensed upon their heads, saith the Lord God. So there was no one there, no one there to stand in the gap for uh, the nation to say that uh, we can be reconciled, uh, we can turn from our evil ways, uh, we can come back to you, God, uh, to give that message. And in Ezekiel, um, this particular language is used in a couple of other places in the Bible. Uh, in particular, uh, he really talks about Moses and Moses being the person. Uh, in Psalms uh, chapter 106, he says, Therefore he said that he would destroy him, talking about God, uh, destroying the, Israel, uh, the Israeli nation. Uh, had not Moses, his chosen, stood before him in the breach uh, to turn away his wrath, lest he destroy them. And I really like the, the way um, the psalmist wrote this, the stood before him in the breach. Um, in the place of danger, in the place between um, uh, evil and God, to be that person, to be that person, to stand up and be the person that God wants us to be. And this message kind of given on Father's Day, it particularly points out us dads as being the person that, that really needs to convey the message from God to our children and our families, uh, to stand in the breach, to stand in the gap. And, and really, this story is going back to the time when, when Moses was given the Ten Commandments. And God had looked down, and when the children of Israel had made a golden calf while he uh, was with Moses, um, Mo, uh, the Lord gets very angry in Exodus 32. and almost wipes the nation of Israel off the map. Uh, in verse 9, he says, And the Lord said unto Moses, I have seen this people, and behold, is a stiff-necked people. Verse 10, now therefore let me alone that my wrath may wax hot against them, that I may consume them, and I will make of thee a great nation. 
So what God is saying here is because the children of Israel blurred the lines between good and evil, because they had given up on God and went ahead and made an idol for themselves, God said, I, I will not do this anymore. I, this this a group of people have made me angry that I don't have any patience for them anymore. Uh, Moses, just go ahead and leave me alone. Let me wipe these people off the face of the earth, and I will make a, no, a nation out of you, Moses, uh, from here on. And here's what Moses said. Moses stepped in the gap. He stepped into the breach. And in verse 11, it says, and Moses besought the Lord his God and said, Lord, why doth thy wrath wax hot against thy people, which thou hast brought forth out of the land of Egypt with great power and with a mighty hand? Wherefore should the Egyptians speak and say for mischief did he bring them out to slay them in the mountains and to consume them from the face of the earth? Turn from thy fierce wrath and repent of this evil against thy people. Remember Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, Thy servants to whom thou swearest by thine own self and saidest unto them, I will multiply your seed as the stars of heaven and all this land that I have spoken of will I give unto your seed and they shall inherit it for thee forever. And the Lord repented of the evil which he thought to do unto his people. You know, Moses stepped into the gap, stepped into the breach um, uh, for his people. And Ezekiel, that's exactly what he needed to happen. God wanted someone to step up and be that person, but he found none. As such, the Israeli nation was broken up and spread all over the world. Um, he's, he's using this lesson for us dads and for us, uh, or for our families, that we are the ones that need to step up, stand in the gap uh, in this world, in this area uh, of our life, uh, to be the one who uh, spreads his message to a wicked nation uh, so that God will show mercy upon our land. Uh, be in prayer for our mission team uh, as they stand in the gap and spread his gospel to other parts of the world. Pray for their protection, pray for their discernment, uh, pray for peace to be found in their families. Uh, hope to see you guys later. Have a wonderful Wednesday.